habit where if I'm panicking about something or I'm incredibly scared or angry or bitter or pretty much anything that makes me unsuitable for polite society, I lock myself up in a small space. And when I was a kid, that used to be under my bed. And um, unfortunately, I've spent so much time in my bedroom doing homework now that that does not give me any comfort to just be in my room. So I am hiding in the bathroom, which really shows my maturity level. Uh, are you sure you're all there? Um, you know, not senile or anything. I mean, I'm not trying to insult you, but I'm just wondering um, because this whole me going to college thing may not have been the best idea you've had because I don't think I'm suitable for it. Really. Um, I've, I'm taking, um, 16 credits, which isn't, um, a whole lot because the max is 18 here, but, um, I've been, uh, I thought, you know, that's a good amount to show that I have been, you know, working hard. But that's also um, gives me time to adjust because I'm not taking the max of 18 credits, uh, but it's still a lot, and I'm um, freaking out because things have gotten hard, and I'm no longer enjoying this, and um, I feel like <laughs> I feel like such an idiot. And um, <laughs> uh, have you heard of the Rum Knobs? Um, they were this Russian family who ruled, uh, well, Russia <laughs> until, um, like the early 1900s or something. And then they were all massacred, which sucks for them. Um, yeah, and so I did not know that they were a ruling family. I thought it was a battle that drove off the Romans. Because Roman off, Roman off, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah, that wasn't it. Uh, yeah, um, so I'm kind of mildly freaking out because, first of all, that was totally humiliating, and I said that in front of the entire class, and everyone laughed at me, and, um, <laughs> gosh, I sound like a fifth grader. Oh, everyone's laughing at me. I thought I was impervious to this by now, but apparently not, and, um, sorry. I just feel like a real dope. Uh, oh, <laughs> and then, uh, someone mentioned Marie Curie. Um, she's an important person in the scientific field, I guess. Um, I didn't know that either, and I asked if she was a freshman, and that joke has been spread all around campus by now, I'm sure. I've had people snickering to my face. <laughs> so, it's seriously high school all over again. Um, uh, the reason I'm making this video is not to, you know, try and... It's actually a really big blow to my pride doing this, but, um... I don't want to be that girl who just sits in the corner anymore and just tries to deal with everything and internalize everything. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want this to be a repeat of high school. And so I thought that, you know, making a video to you might help a little. And, um, uh, <laughs> you know, because it shows I'm opening up. And to be honest, I've always, you're kind of like a fictional character to me. So it's kind of like, hey, it's not like I've embarrassed my myself in front of like a real person, which I mean, obviously you are a real person, and but you know, I haven't met you, and you know, you're kind of just up to my imagination. So yeah, I'm really, really glad that Sally and Julia aren't here right now, and I never see Ellie. She's always in her room, so. This would be absolutely humiliating, and I would never show my face in public again if, oh my gosh, if Julian knew about this, I would die. No. We don't get along, as I think I mentioned. I'll probably mention it again. Um, I'm just, I'm tired. I've had so much homework. I'm barely keeping up. Most of the time I'm not. The only thing I'm okay in is my composition class.
you know what? I haven't, maybe part of the issue is that I haven't really done anything fun for me in a really long time. I mean, I haven't even had time for pleasure reading. My friends recommended, and by friends I mean Tumblr followers, they count. They totally count as real friends. I am not a loser. Um, so my friends recommend I read Anne of Green Gables, and I haven't had a chance yet, and I've been wanting to so bad. So here we go. Chapter 1. Mrs. Rachel Lynde is surprised. Mrs. Rachel Lynde lived just where the Aven... Avonlea? I... I, I think I heard that it's pronounced Avonlea, so Avonlea, although that's not how it's spelled, but isn't that how most of the English language works? Just where the Avonlea main road dipped down into a little hollow, fringed with alders and ladies' eardrops, there are plenty of people in Avonlea and out of it who can attend closely to their neighbor's business by dint of neglecting their own. But Mrs. Rachel Lynde was one of those capable creatures who can manage their own concerns and those of other folks into the bargain. <laughs> Yet with all this, Mrs. Rachel found abundant time to sit for hours at her kitchen window, knitting cotton warp quilts. She had knitted sixteen of them, as Avonlea housekeepers were wont to tell in odd voices. Anybody who went out of it or into it had to pass over that hill road and so ran the unseen gauntlet of Mrs. Rachel's all-seeing eye. And yet here was Matthew Cuthbert, at half past three on the afternoon of a busy day, placidly driving over the hollow and up the hill. Moreover, he wore a white collar and his best suit of clothes, which was plain proof that he was going out of Avonlea, and he had the buggy and the sorrel mare, which betokened that he was going a considerable distance. Now where was Matthew Cuthbert going, and why was he going there? A child of about eleven, garbed in a very short, very tight, very ugly dress, of yellowish-white wincy. She wore a faded brown sailor hat, and beneath that hat, extending down her back, were two braids of very thick, decidedly red hair. Her face was small, white, and thin, also much freckled. Her mouth was large, and so were her eyes, that looked green in some lights and moods and gray in others. I suppose you are Mr. Matthew Cuthbert of Green Gables, she said in, in a peculiarly clear, sweet voice. I'm very glad to meet you. I was beginning to be afraid you weren't coming for me at all, and I was imagining all the things that might have happened to prevent you. I had made up my mind that if you didn't come for me tonight, I'd go down to the track to that big wild cherry tree at the bend and climb up into it to stay all night. I wouldn't be afraid, and it would be lovely to sleep in a wild cherry tree all white with bloom in the moonshine, don't you think? Oh my gosh, I love this book. You could imagine you were dwelling in marble halls, couldn't you? And I was quite sure you would come for me in the morning if you didn't tonight. Tumblr followers, you guys are geniuses. Oh my gosh, and did... Okay, I can't tell if this is a fantastic book or if my sense of escapism is so keen that it's like actually rather depressing that I can get that lost in a book and totally forget my troubles. But I feel so much better now. This, this is good. This is... I feel a lot better now. Now that I've talked things out and now that I've read... still kind of like high school though. No one really knew the hard time I went through in high school and how much of an outcast I felt like. Maybe I should change that. Maybe. Because it's one thing to talk to a screen and to get lost in a book. And hey, I mean, I'm glad I feel better. <laughs> it's not like I want to be depressed. I think it's kind of time that maybe I should have actual dialogue with people 
can really express when I'm feeling upset or something. Maybe I should, you know, start actually leaning on others. That's an idea. <laughs> you know what? Yes. I am going to... <sighs> I'm going to have a talk with Sally McBride when she comes back. And we're going to be friends. And friends tell each other things, or so I've been told. So, wish me luck. And thanks for listening. <laughs> kind of embarrassing, I can't believe I'm actually going to upload this video. But, this is growing up, I guess. When you set aside your pride, and you talk to people, and you let them possibly completely reject you, but you're still going to be brave. Exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, okay. Yes, I'm going to upload this video. <laughs> Alright. Thank you again for listening. Bye. Together is all we